when you're creating or modifying a deployment, there are a number of parameters that you can use to really control how AutoCAD will be installed on the target machine. We'd already looked at support content customization in a prior segment, so we're now scrolling down to the additional files section. Now, what's useful here is that we can actually add in a new program folder to the deployment file set. So what we would do is say, add a folder. I've already done this here and I've supplied a new folder called CAD data. Once the folder is created, we can browse to it and we can select content in the form of files that will now be copied into that folder. So what I've got here is some database and SQL utilities that I would like to go ahead and copy onto the user's target machine as a part of their installation process. So as you see, you can actually append your own files and folders onto the deployment file set. So it's very easy to include your custom code with AutoCAD's normal deployment. Moving on down, we have user preferences that control kind of the startup experience and what kind of plugins and browser settings that we would want, along with our normal uh, profile name, which would typically be unnamed profile, but you can put in something else there if you'd like. And if you would like to override the default shortcut, which would already have correct pathing and all that uh, type of information, you could go ahead and create your own shortcut name and specify your own shortcut parameters. So as you see, it's very easy to control not only the contents of the deployment kit, but also the user startup experience and shortcut experience that comes with the deployment kit as well. So very straightforward to do. And these tools are available whether you are creating your deployment in the first place or modifying an existing one.